Greetings, salutations, chunky milk. What's going on? It's your boy Kino, K E I N O six six two on Instagram, Twitter, all that shit. You know what discipline is? Discipline is doing what needs to be done when you don't feel like doing it. Right now, I'm tired as fuck, but I don't care. Numerous times, I don't care about what the fuck I'm feeling. The other day. <coughs> Not even another day, but uh, for the past few, I've just been getting up and running at least 5K every day. I know that's not much, but it's 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 I'm I'm gracious and thankful for even having the time to to do that. Yeah, you know I mean. Also, congratulations! Uh, you made it to another year. You know, March is the first uh, first month of the actual year. I'm just so glad you made it here with us, yeah, man. I feel like now more than ever, there's some familiar faces that have made their way into the homestead that I've built. You know, certain people I haven't talked to for four, four or five years and <clears throat> certain vibrations I haven't felt and damn near 10 years and I knew it was eventually gonna happen but it's just exciting to have it happen now also um how you feeling what you got planned for this new year? Um, today is the second second day of March. I am recording this early as fuck on a Saturday because I've been working all night, and I've actually been restoring this vehicle, and I have no experience as being a mechanic, but it's engaging. I like things that are difficult to do, but. I like to exit my wheelhouse and expand my wheelhouse at the same time. So, I've been working throughout the night. As as I solve a problem, a new one arises. Like the other day, I was um, fixing the fuel lines from the tank to the um, filter. And I was soaked in gasoline. My house still smells like gasoline right now. That was like four days ago, five days ago. Make it pissed off. You gonna make it in your room? Yeah, definitely the best song of the year. I'm gonna let it play out. No, I might get a uh, fucking uh, what's it called? Copyright strike. Let's see. But how you doing? You want to keep the energy very, 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 very high. We only brought here. We lost a few, but we were brought here only by the wisdom and grace of of the Most High. Um, and that is that. But like I was saying, I think that being in the age of Aquarius, being in the Infinity type year, it's bringing a whole bunch of truths out. It's bringing. Uh, new energies um, and familiar energies at the same time like, cause like I was saying there's some familiar faces and the energy I feel is very familiar I feel like classic Kino right now top 10 um, Kino archetypes returning uh, I was always nervous um, to burn bridges because I knew that I, I I don't I don't make enemies often, right? So there always is room for people to you know come around and be like, hey, how's it going? Like nothing ever like transpired, and with that with the combination of the two, that only leaves one more outcome is when I'm up, people come back around type shit. Or seemingly up, or whatever up was to them, and that's a terrible, terrible way to, f- 
to have that happen. So, I extended. <coughs> Look at me. I extended uh, one more olive branch against my better judgment. Just to see what happened. And uh, nothing surprised me. However, <coughs> excuse I. However, uh, you just learn more and more. You don't know people until said people feel like they don't need you. Up until then, it's just been manipulation and um, yeah, just manipulation. And manipulation is not that negative all the time. I also find it interesting that you know, no matter how a relationship ends, I always speak. Highly of anybody that I, you know, spent uh, time with and anybody that I enjoyed their company, right? However, I never really thought about how the story that they could tell or they would tell. It really doesn't matter. I remember I was hanging out with uh, some of my friends and I didn't realize that I was a part of this relationship that negative affected most things around me. And then that same energy clung on to me and I became uh, real miserable without even knowing it. It was sick as fuck. Like all the energies that I wanted to give that person, I would give it to everybody else around me type shit without even realizing it's really sick as fuck. But that's why, you know, I took a step back, studied myself, studied different type of uh, languages different types of like body language um what are you actually saying when you're not saying what you're saying type shit <clears throat> mm. i just study people as well but yeah that's where i wanted when I, where i wanted to start it um I guess this pod is this episode is about <clears throat> the the climb the balance of it all the climb and the descent and keeping equilibrium that's why I feel like discipline is so important um a lot of people don't believe in depression i'm one of those people that i don't it's not that i don't believe in depression it's i believe that if you were doing something worthwhile you don't you wouldn't have the energy to put into being sad and take it how you want you might think that's a negative thought but you feel better when you're doing things that you actually care about it's not just oh i'm sad let me go to the fitness center and distract myself it's not really distracting yourself. It's it's meditation in a way, because I will clear your mind to make you actually be able to think about what you're thinking about type shit. <clears throat> so I say all that to say, you know, once you're disciplined with something. It doesn't matter how you feel. Get the fuck up. Like me personally, I always wake up. Uh two hours before I'm supposed to be where I'm supposed to be at. And I don't care what time I went to sleep. My body knows that I run the show entirely. And there's nothing that it could do to go against my will. 
<clears throat> I say jump. It jumps. Type joint. I'm also feeling like it's a new horizon with all these new energies and familiar ones. It's 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 not the same. It's a new horizon still. And better things are to come. You know. Hmm. All right, let's jump into news. I feel like I got everything I wanted to say off my chest. So let's talk about, you know, the future, the evolution of society, the evolution of the human race as we know it. You know, we you are what you eat at the end of the day. And what does the great United States eat the most of? You know, though it's you say you are what you eat. You know, the soy is turning the kids in, into all of them into theys. You know, the the fluoride in the water is turning, uh, turning the fucking people into robots. You know that we have the advancement of technology. All the kids are on iPads. We're raising little androids. You see what I'm saying? And that's all consumption, right? Now, what, like I said, what is the United States known for consuming the most of on a day-to-day basis? It's, it's clearly, you know, these are the people behind the scenes that are actually running the show. Let's just talk about them. Let's just say it. That's what I want to talk about this podcast is those people that are running the show. They run the media. They run the NBA. They run Disney. They run every fucking thing. And it's all about consumption at the end of the day. And these niggas are eating all of their food. That's why. I know for a fact that, and plus, everybody thinks that, like, there's a small amount of these people. They're everywhere because there's so many of them. And they're clicking up type shit. They've been clicking up. And I'm not against it either. I'm not saying I'm against it. I think we should just all submit to the Chinese from, from, from now. We should just all just say, fuck it, you know. Um, and Ni Hao Kai Lan. Why were we all watching Ni Hao Kai Lan? And why was Asian Stop Asian Hate such a fucking uh cultural juggernaut? You know why? Because they're the next step in the human evolution. I said it. Chinese people are like. Uh, the compact version of the human being they're like the 2.0 of god's original design first of all their skin is soft as hell there i can only think of positives you know their skin is soft as hell they're all nice people they're all pretty intelligent and now I'm, I don't mean just because they study more than like other people, but I think culturally as well, like they run societies pretty well too. all the Asians do run societies pretty well. You know, I am such a fan of China. I am such a big fan of China that I believe that Taiwan should just like chill. Taiwan should relax. You need to 
What I'm saying is that, you know, we should all just realize that China is on a whole nother level. First of all, they mastered child breeding and population as a whole. First of all, there's a billion of these niggas. And that's just one nation. And they prioritize having sons. So they have fucking soldiers at the end of the day. Not only that, fucking I fuck with communist shit, bro. Bro. They got government down to a science, too. They're like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's share their wealth. Fuck it. Type shit. <sighs> bro, they just, they got this shit. And the greatest uh, shit that's going on today is that they have found fucking dragon fossils. That's crazy as hell. So... These niggas never lied about nothing. They've been seeing dragons. It's not mythology, my nigga. It's tradition at this point. So when you go into your local Chinese food store and you see that dragon tapestry, pay homage. You know what I mean? On some Ni Hao type shit. What the fuck was that Disney movie about that bitch that wanted to be a man that went to the uh, army? Uh, Mulan you know the, the dragon that she was with that nigga was real and y'all thought it was like an animated movie no let me explain something to y'all Chinese dragon fossils an international team of paleontologists from the, U, U, from the US Europe and China have uncovered the fossils of a 240 million year old dragon like marine animal in southwestern China, according to the research published yesterday. That's crazy as a fuck. That means these other nations is like, yo, y'all niggas really far. Like, y'all got it, bro. These niggas found a dragon, bro. The nearly 17 foot long aquatic reptile dubbed the Chinese dragon. Hold up. Hold up, bro. These niggas said it's the Chinese dragon, bro. Fuck that, bro. Fuck the U.S. dragon. Fuck the German dragon, nigga. It's the Chinese dragon. First of all, it's the first dragon niggas ever like said, yo, that might be a dragon type shit. This ain't this ain't uh, the Loch Ness monster Nessie type bullshit. This is this is several nations are saying this is a motherfucking dragon, most likely. And these niggas said, yeah, it's the Chinese dragon, though. Bro, these niggas fly, bro. Bro, these niggas got it. So. The animal features flippers and what paleontologists describe as an unusually long neck that stretches nearly eight feet, resembling a snake-like dragons in Chinese mythology. Jesus Christ. These niggas never lied about nothing, bro. These niggas has never told a lie. And I'll fuck with them for that shit, bro. I'm Chinese. Fuck it. Fuck it. Mr. Chin. Mr. Chin. Bro. This is a... This is a new discovery. The species was first discovered... In 2003, when a skull and three cervical vertebrae were undiscovered from limestone deposits. More, more remains were eventually found, allowing paleontologists to piece together the complete skeleton over, four, over a 10-year period. Jesus Christ. In China... Home to discovery of several other species from the Jurassic period, about 252 million to 201 million years ago, when the Earth featured the single uh, supercontinent Pangaea. The Jurassic period was just the first period of the. Uh, who gives a fuck, bro? These niggas have a dragon, my nigga. 
I used to watch that show. Jake Long, the American Dragon. Fuck that nigga, bro. We Chinese dragons around this motherfucker, bro. And at the end of the day, I'm the type of person that I believe the the strong should dominate the weak. Right? Stay with me now. The strong should dominate the weak. Not dominate, but control the weak. Because that's how it should be. <laughs> because that's how it should be. But um, the weak, if the weak fight back, there's more cal- casualties type shit. Bombocard. So the weaks just like get stronger or get stronger in silence and like unsuspectingly come back and like fight type shit or just submit to whatever government the the strong have for you type shit so i say all this to say i don't think there's many things that anybody can do to combat the chinese and they're taking over the whole world i think in maybe like 200 years we're all going to be chinese chinese is going to be like a it's going to be like the new word for like human type shit uh maybe like 400 years yeah maybe like 400 years they're gonna be like what type of chinese are you <laughs> that's what that's the question what type of chinese are you oh i'm from like uh the u.s type shit do you know I mean you know they say like uh one fourth of the whole uh human race is related to Genghis Khan. It's going to be like a hundred percent in like 400 years. Watch. Well, how much some people love inbreeding and shit. There might be like a straggler walking around with like a gimp foot and a fucking one eye with a unibrow and a cleft tongue. And he was born with a piercing already. It's something like that, but he's not going to be Chinese and we won't fuck with him. Uh, Yeah, I don't think there's any nations that can combat the Chinese overlords. And I don't think there should be. I don't think I've driven that home enough here. How badly I want to be Chinese. And don't we all want to be Chinese? Don't Chinese just mean like excellence at the end of the day? I don't. Like, it just means, and they were the first to be on some, like, AI type shit, Android type shit. These niggas been living in 5G for five, ten years now. They was the first to be on some shit, bro. They made TikTok. These niggas, these niggas is up, bro. Let's just celebrate them. If the Chinese overlords are hearing this, brother, I love y'all, nigga shit i'm on board with this shit put some put some uh put some bro they made covid bro that was one of the greatest technology technological advances in the past 50 years these niggas made covid in wuhan and nobody like there's no war crimes about that shit like first of all you know what type of pr team you have to have to make a uh a deadly virus and then people go out into the street and uh, call you racist for saying that China made the Chinese virus. And then they say, stop Asian hate. Do you know what type of fucking uh, PR you got to have for that shit? These niggas is up. These niggas is unstoppable. And they shouldn't be stopped. Only people that may be able to do something about the Chinese gods and demigods that walk among us mortal men um, have to be like old school, conservative, uh, Christian, like, because Christians make good soldiers. That's a fact. Soldiers don't ask a lot of questions. They're like, 
you know, if I do the right thing, which is just my side is good, your side is bad type of deal. And I think that if a great Chinese soldier went to war, he would he would definitely kill the enemy very efficiently, very expertly with the least amount of energy wasted energy spent. There's no wasted movements like in the way that he will assassinate a soldier. However, he would like mourn the soldier, too, and like kiss his forehead like like after slitting his throat like kisses for it and then like drink some sake i know that's japanese but no yeah he drink like drink some sake but a good red-blooded american soldier would just like maul down the enemy and like come back traumatized type shit and with no va support whatsoever like just come back and just he'll be homeless and shit like he'd just be outside like trying to wash your windshield and shit and nobody really talks to him anymore and shit and he's just like down bad but a great chinese soldier now like i said previously you know loving spirit um probably is an artisan at like killing niggas and he's just on a different caliber at the end of the day however i think that the duel between those two people will be one for the ages what i'm saying is that i think texans might be the back that might be the bacteria versus the white blood cell you know, the battle of the ages and might be the only thing that can combat the the gods that walk among us. Uh, however, it looks like China might have beat Texas to the punch. Texas government, Texas governor, governor, L reader, Greg Abbott issued a disaster decla- declaration this week for 60 counties. As the Smokehouse Creek Fire became the second largest in Texas history. Yo, clap it up, brother. Clap it up, brother. While the country is in turmoil, uh, interest rates are through the roof. We're in a silent uh, depression. Uh, We're in uh, the great anxiety uh renaissance we're in a uh spirit of unwavering uh, unsureness about the future you know texans are just down there having a bonfire they're getting along it's barbecue but it's not like dry rub barbecue it's that shit where like you open the fucking smoker and you spray the shit texans are down there doing burnt ends uh, I don't eat that much barbecue. I don't have any more thing about that. Maybe some beef ribs, uh, pork belly, maybe some chicharron, because you know the Latin community is outside as well. The Smokehouse Creek Fire broke out Monday. And is one of the multiple fire wildfires burning across Texas and into Oklahoma. Oklahoma, get your own swag at the end of the day, bro. We don't fuck with you, Oklahoma. No, nah, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. There's a song that's like fire that that says Oklahoma, and I don't remember how it goes. But um, no, nah, Oklahoma, get your own swag, bro. Because you know Texas is fire. Texas has a, like a dope ass culture. It's Texas, I think, is the only state that still has neighbors that, like, fuck with each other. Like, you can leave your garage door open all day, I feel like. And if your neighbor sees somebody go into your house, your neighbor would, like, kill them type shit. If, even if it's your nephew type shit. And I fuck with that. So, kudos to you, Texas. Um... I don't think that the war would last that long between you guys and us, us being the Chinese. And but I think it would be the one for the ages. Unfortunately, you're going up in smoke right now. You know, RIP. There is one casualty. 
so far as this 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 report I'm reading is from Wednesday, I believe, or Thursday. And that's not that bad, to be honest. As of writing, it has grown to over 1,300 square miles, 850,000 acres, larger than the state of Rhode Island, and has threatened homes, businesses, and farms. Wildfires have also caused the country's main nuclear weapons assembly facility to be temporarily shut down. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. It's almost as if, now this is purely speculation, but it's almost as if we have successfully shut down your nuclear generators. So, that's that's one point for us. The Chinese, I mean. Texas has two wildfire peaks, one in the summer and winter, but they fall short of distinct seasons. This week, high temperatures and winds combined with dry, dead grass is believed to be what fueled the spread of the fire. Those conditions are expected to ease in the coming days as winds ease. Hopefully. I mean, if it don't, uh, you know... That's just going to make way for, you know, the rest of us to come over here and go crazy. You know, New York is doing some dumb shit where, like, they're paying, they're incentivizing people to let migrants live with them. And the only thing I can think about that is, like, that's like a, I feel like, first of all, I think what I've read is that these people are escaping, uh, you know, war. They're running away from a a harsh time. And the main people that I see pull up over here is military age men. And I don't see that many women and children. Now, I could be wrong. But what I'm saying is I feel like. This is like on some like martial law type shit. These niggas just like sleeper agents not sent by the great, 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 great nation of China. This is sent by like, Lord knows if it's not China, like I don't know who would be sending this shit over here, but I know it's not China because that's home. That's the home base. Um, It'd have to be some. I don't know where the fuck this being sent for. So I can't, I can't even speculate. However, uh yeah, I feel like these niggas are like sleeper agents. I feel like uh worst comes to worst, the worst outcome it would be they get activated like iRobot because they're probably like androids at that point cuz who who sends 40,000 uh military age male immigrants to one city and be like, you know, let them live with you, let and you, we'll pay you and we'll pay them and give them a fucking debit card with two thousand dollars on it every fucking month which is lit for them i can only imagine that the line to come over here to get paid to live is fucking massive and i don't mean the line at a you know customs area i'm talking about tesla factory because these niggas are androids that's my hypothesis these niggas are un feeling emotionless um godless uh androids and that is my hypothesis i think that if we say a certain phrase that we don't often say these niggas will get active and by active i mean activated because like i said they're androids um, maybe if we say, I don't know, electing, electing Biden wasn't such a good idea. And these niggas be like, beep, boop, doo, 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 doo. And it'd be like the, the fucking I robot when he was like, no, you cannot leave. No. And turn fucking red, like glowing fucking chest and it's like red as fuck. We need to go watch that movie to 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 do prep work 
I think we should buy more guns. Everybody buy more guns. I told you guys to buy a gun like maybe a couple weeks ago. I bet you didn't. I bet you didn't. You know why? Because you're not Chinese. If you were Chinese, you would, you know, do the most intellectually sound thing. But you're dumb. And you just are lacking out here. I don't know what it is to tell you. But RIP to the great dude that passed away in Texas, genuinely speaking. Um, Maybe like. I don't know what would have caused this wildfire. What causes wildfire? It's just fucking air and dry fucking grass. And something's not adding up. They hit they hit Hawaii with a laser. And by they, this time I'm talking about the real they. And we know who they are. I'm not going to say what kind of people they are. It's not the Chinese. I'll say that. Can you be Chinese and Jewish? How would that math work? I suppose a Jewish woman would have to sleep with an Asian man, and then that baby would have to be a a, a girl as well, and then she would be uh, like mixed Chinese and then she would keep sleeping with Chinese but like now they're Jewish people too yeah that would make sense and that had nothing to do with the they that I was talking about just to make that very very clear I was not insinuating anything there I was just trying to do the math of like genealogy because I was trying to see how I could be Chinese that's the math I was doing and it was successful Okay, so thank you for sitting with me again, Chunky Milk. I had a great time. Uh, 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 Go do something. Go do something. Get out your comfort zone. Uh, Yeah, lovely time with you again. This is Nebuchadnezzar taking off. I had such a joyous time with you. And peace. Be safe. Oh, yeah. Uh, Social media, K-E-I-N-O-662, Instagram, Twitter. Also, spoiled... uh, Hold on. Things like spoiled. Uh, fuck, I forgot the Instagram. Yeah. Spoiled dot company. S P O I L E D dot C O M P A N Y. Spoiled company. DM. Uh, drop a comment if you've seen this episode. And if you want to be Chinese, I'm going to find some type of form. Get us get us in there early. Yeah. Grandfather you in. Literally. All right, I'm taking off. <laughs>